What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and apologies for the delay on this one, but welcome to the next episode of Gigantic Quest. This series is not over, it's just been a little bit of a pain trying to organize uh, everybody to get the videos recorded since it is a huge collaborative project. There are a lot of moving parts and a lot of people to account for when it comes to their free time and of course my limited time. So today we're going to be having on a guest uh, named Jay is Decent. They have a YouTube channel. They have a Twitter. I'm going to link all that in the description down below. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, we actually recorded this once before and I completely messed up and made it so that uh, Jay's audio was not recording, uh, which is obviously not good for a video. Uh, but I want to give Jay like the proper introduction. Uh, Reading off the accomplishments, Jay has top 16 uh, in the Smogon VGC Winter Seasonal, Spear Pillar, two times top cut, and of course, he's a VGC content creator. So make sure you check him out uh, in the description down below. And uh, let's get into the team. Uh, I'm recording this before we actually sit down and record together uh, because we are on limited time, and I might have to do this once in a while with the series. But starting off, uh, we have a G Max Gengar. Uh, we're running a Focus Sash. 4 HP, 252 special attack, 252 speed. It's got Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Hyper Beam, and Trick Room. So G-Max Gengar's max move allows it to trap in any Pokemon it wants uh, until G-Max Gengar itself goes down. It basically sets up Shadow Tag like Mega Gengar used to have. Um, it's got a decent speed set at like 110. So while it, while it will be outspeeding a lot of Pokemon, uh, it isn't outspeeding many restricted. So in the face of Calyrex Shadow, of course we need a Tailwind. Uh, of course we need some form of speed control and that's why Hyper Beam is actually pretty useful. We're running a uh, Kyogre next to it. Uh, Kyogre is running 116 HP, four defense, 156 special attack, four special defense, 228 speed, water spout, origin pulse, ice beam protect. This is just sort of a bulky set that we threw together. Um, this thing's gonna be able to take hits pretty easily uh, with that bulk that we've thrown on it. And it's just like a generally good Pokemon to have next to Gengar. If you manage to trap in a Groudon, like let's say you go for a G-Max Terror and they activate your Focus Sash, and then the next turn you just go for like a Max Guard, they're stuck in with the Kyogre and they're going to have to eat a Water Spout, which they wouldn't like. We have a Zacian Crowned, just like a general bulky Zacian, the 2020 Zacian. Uh, it's just going to do Zacian things. Again, a nice Pokemon to be able to trap things in with. Uh, we have Koba Berry Whimsicott because the Focus Sash is taken. Uh, it's just going to be a super standard Whimsicott. We have 4 HP, 252 Special Attack, 252 Speed, Energy Ball, Tailwind, Helping Hand Protect. That Helping Hand is going to be super useful when it comes to Zacian since, uh, you know, a plus one Zacian is already a threat. As soon as you get it to a Helping Hand boost, it's going to start taking KOs on Dynamax Pokemon pretty easily. We have a pretty standard Assault Vest Groudon. 156 uh, Attack, you know, that's just the, that's just the, uh, the jumping point. Max HP, decent mass special defense, uh, and some speed. Just sort of a standard set. We have Precious Blades, Heat Crash, Stone Edge, but we're actually running Shadow Claw since uh, this team needs to remove Caloric Shadow if we have any chance of winning. And finally, our last Pokemon is Eveltal. We have a Life Orb, Dark Aura, just a standard uh, Life Orb set. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the games. Uh, and yeah, once again, apologies. We recorded a video before this where I messed up with his audio, and we actually managed to get like three really good Gengar games. Uh, in this one, yeah, it doesn't go as well, but we still have to make the video, you know. Gigantic Quest is about doing your best. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so on screen, you can actually see the uh, rental team that we'll be using. Uh, I, I, we already did the team breakdown, uh, but we probably did it separately because we are on a little bit of borrowed time here today. So yeah, you ready to get into some battles, Jay? Yeah. Sick, okay. Let me borrow this team and let's grab some games. I'm actually already higher on ladder <laughs> on on VGC series 13 than I was last time we recorded on series 12. Because last time we recorded on like series 12, I was I was like I, I don't even want to play series 12 anymore. So I've only played a couple of matches, uh, and that made it so we we're actually playing an ultra ball tier. But this time, you know, I'm already an ultra ball tier. <laughs> so yeah. Um. We're getting it well, at least we can say we got Gengar to Master Ball. Yeah, I mean, like, by the end of this video, we should be able to do that. Uh, yeah, but yeah, so this is actually, I probably already said it in the initial part of the video, but this is a re-recording because I screwed up and we didn't end up recording the audio on Jay's end. 
uh, making it so it was just me talking, and I was like, yeah, no, it is. it doesn't feel right if you can't hear Jay, because, you know, he made the team and all. But last time we ran, like, a, a swordfish team with uh, Gengar to trap, and this time it's it's basically, like, the same thing, but now we're able to run it with, like, a Groudon, because Series 13, you know? All right. That's, ooh, they got that golden Magirna. This, this, I think this is a Gengar game. Yeah, like, leading off Gengar doesn't seem bad at all. Um, um, we don't have taunt on anything. But we, um, we have Trick Room on Gengar, in case we need to, like, reverse. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about Gengar Groudon lead? I like that. It just, like, With... covers everything. Hmm. I think Zacian Yveltal... That sounds that sounds about right. It's it's mostly just like if they end up leading off with the Amoongus and it's like Sash Amoongus, that's like my only real concern. But if it's Sash Amoongus, we could at least we'd have an excuse to Dynamax the game there. Yeah. Just double target it. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's see. Victini and Palkia. How bad is this? Um, I'm like 99% sure that they're final gambit. If they're final gambit, um, let me think. I mean, we're AV Groudon, we can't protect. Do you want to just trick room on their trick room here and try to hope that they're not final gambit? Because I... we, we could. Dynamax eat the hit in Trick Room on their Trick Room and just like uh, max ground move their Palkia. Yeah, I, I like that. I'd imagine that's what they do because they can't final gambit the Gengar. And I feel like they shouldn't max here. Yeah. My only concern is if they just like V create, <laughs> then we just gave them Trick Room. Oh, yeah, Actually, no, we're Sash bad. Gengar, we're fine. Should final gambit here because they want to get like their Cali Ice. Be create. Ooh, okay. Be uh -oh. Well, they probably still trick roomed. Oh, they crit us too. Oh, that did a lot of damage. And now they're slower. Now Gengar outspeeds. No, they just. <gasps> I guess we just uh -oh. set up trick room for them, but mm, it's Scarf Vicatini, so we're probably still fine. Yeah, I thought they would just go for the, the you know, Trick Room right there. Alright, that's yeah. almost a one-shot. Honestly, it's not that bad. It could be worse. We don't die to any Palkia hit at this point. I would say... Hmm. Let's try to undo that. <laughs> Is it a bad idea to just try to undo it? Um, no, I think we could... Wait, Trick Room's affected by pressure? Yes. Oh, wow. Crazy, um, right? Well, I think we could... Trick Room... Yeah. I think we have to Quake the... Victini here. I don't think that's that scary, though. I think if we get rid of the Palkia, we're probably in a better spot. Because Victini's at minus... 1-1-1, one, 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 and it's Scarf, so it's going to keep getting down to minus 1. Well, yeah. Victini's going to be underspeeding us next turn. That's true. Like That's I true. Think, I think it's fine, because if we get the Trick Room, the first off, we're in a pretty good position. So pretty yeah, good. and Groudon just eats its. Yeah, I just hope they didn't target Stinger. I feel like they shouldn't target the Gengar, too. Yeah. Oh, they targeted the Gengar. Spatial rend. Alright, still not the end of the world, just because, you know, we underspeed their Palkia. It's mostly just the Amoongus that's slightly concerning. Yeah, but... And they're also life so for Palkia. Um, I hope they don't have... If they have Kali Ice, it could be a bit tricky. Yeah. Oh, that's actually really bad if they're Kali Ice. 
Hope we go Yveltal. Yeah, it covers for Amoongus pretty well and Cali Ice as well. Yeah, we can bait in like a match. Yeah. Okay, they're just gonna Glacial. Any chance we I take think... that? Uh, we could try. Because it's and not we... like there's another play to make here, you know? Yeah. I mean, we can try to do this. how hard is it to stall out the last turns of Trick Room? It's three turns. Yeah, we don't stall that out. Alright, we could, we could Dark Pulse and Max Quake. Max Quake. Are you sure we don't flare in this situation? Or Phantasm, you think even? Max? You think I think, gonna they, max I think they max it. I feel like they just Glacial here, so... I That's true. I'm mostly just concerned if they do, then we just don't care. Oh, yep, there it is. A max. I did not expect that. Glacial, because like, you get the double K. Well, things are getting bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think this might be an L. That's probably in, just into the grot on them. Oh no, they're just going for the Evel Tall. Yep, that's gone. Um Yeah, no. They just they just clean up now because uh the Cali can just max quake the um the Zashian on the way in. Alright, that turn one play really messed us up here. Yeah, I mean I don't get why they didn't just go for the trick room to be honest. Honestly, um, I feel I, like they probably don't even have Trick Room. Yeah, I, I want to look at this now, because it, it feels weird leading off Victini, Palkia, and not having Trick Room on the Palkia. Yeah. There is a way to win this, it's just really bad. Oh, <laughs> uh, we have to get a double protect with our Zacian, because Palkia goes down this turn if it attacks the Groudon. And we have to hope whatever's in the back loses to Zacian. Okay. I mean, last time we recorded, we hit two hypnosis, right? Yeah. So, I also just noticed that you right? dropped hypnosis on the Gengar. That hurts. <laughs> yeah, I won at Trick Room because series 13 is just tail one spam. So I thought Trick Room could be cool in certain matchups. Quake, okay. Quake. Let's see if we can quake. eat two of those behind protect. I don't think so. Oh, Just barely. So it it depends if they if the Palkia misses here, we're in a good spot. First, well, we get the P blades off. Yeah. Okay. So whatever's in the back has to lose to Groudon, and we have to get a double protect, and then we can scrape this one back. I think it's I think it's Magirna in the back, so I don't know. We should just barely live, but that hail might actually KO us. Uh, wait, actually? It's Groudon. Oh, it's Groudon. Um... We could... I mean, they could be no accurate move Groudon. <laughs> we could protect and play for, like, P-Blades miss. That's what but I'm they thinking. Probably they probably heal from P-Blades. Yeah. There's nothing else we can do at this point. Yeah, we fail anyways. Dang it. Max Quake. Quake. It quaked the Groudon. Alright, no, this is still winnable. They just have to miss every single P-Blades. Yeah. Because that's the last turn of Trick Room. And Heat Crash? Alright. They did oh. the responsible thing. Unfortunate. Would that game have been better if we just Dynamaxed the Gengar? Probably. Yeah. Not that I think. I mean, well, they did crit us with the they did crit us with yeah. the V crate, but I think we would have just barely lived. We would have lost our Grout on turn one. Yeah. It's like I'm not sure. If we matched Gengar, we would have actually just swept with like Gengarization in there. That's what I'm thinking because they have no switching options then. Alright, let's, you know, I feel like every time I do a Gigantic Quest episode, it only really works out if, like, we put faith in the in the target Gigantamax Pokemon. So I think maybe we just gotta do that. We just gotta, like, find every excuse to Dynamax this Gengar. 
Yeah. But that's kind of hard to do. In series 13, it's a lot harder than it was when we did the series 12. Yeah. Dude, it was that's so annoying because it was such a good video too. Yeah, we, we even got the 4-0 with Gengar. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay. Um, all right, more, more Cali Ice. Unfortunately, there is a Evelt on the other side of the field. Last time we just dealt with it by putting it to sleep. <laughs> um, how do you feel about I think leading off Gengar Eveltal isn't bad, but also Gengarization isn't bad. Mm, I like Gengarization. Covers a lot more, yeah. Um, Groudon in the back. Actually, Kyogre in the back's not bad. Yeah. It's a lot better Kyogre? into Kyogre, or it's a lot better into Kali. I like Kyogre and Yvelt. All right. And if they like Tailwind, if they leave with tail and stuff, we can just trick them. True. Yeah, actually, that's good. I'm trying to think. Like, versus our but, team, it, it's weird seeing the Gengar in lead. Like, I don't know if they would know what to do versus it, or if they, like, even prepare for it. The only way, like, Trick Room, like, the only way it could go bad for us is if, like, they have Amoongus. But I doubt it. They'd bring Amoongus. Yeah. Okay, so that's not terrible. A, I actually expected this lead. We can... I, I, I really want to trick them here. Like, yeah, they should they should opt for um, Tailwind here to make sure they outspeed Arization. We could protect Trick Room, and I think that's probably safe. Um, but yeah. also, every, we're running 2020-ization, so we always live one hit, right? Yeah, I, I, I really want to... Um, I think we just attack in Trick Room. I think we trick room behemoth blade. Because uh, then we get two in a row. Yeah, I'd want to be able to knock it out this turn. The only way they actually KO is Asians, like helping hand. But once again, what scares me is we're setting up a trick room for the opponent. We could actually max Gengar here if they don't have a Moongus. Oh my god, they did helping hand. Alright, well, if we outspeed, this isn't that bad. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we, we did outspeed. A, we get a free switch to Kyogre. Yeah, and next turn we can actually get the KO on the Zacian with, um, with our Gengar. Yeah. My concern is, like, Encore on the... Wait, actually, if it is Encore, we can just Dynamax through that. Yeah. Okay, so alright. I'm thinking... I think I we think Dynamax we the Gengar here, and we can. Oh, we can. Um, we can go for the max poison move on the, uh, on the uh, the the Whimsicott, and then just um, Water Spot. Yeah. And then like our, our Kyogre is actually mad scary. Exactly. Um. Because that also stops the Encore from working on us. Hopefully they just Tailwind for no reason. <laughs> so Even if they don't, like we're not Scarf Kyogre, you know we're fine. Yeah. And they don't really have any switch-ins to this that are super safe. Is it? I don't think Cali Ice is gonna live like after the max. I don't think it's gonna live terror into work. Yeah, and we maintain our sash. They have no way of breaking our sash before um, any of this happens. So the terror is just gonna deal massive damage to whatever's in the field next turn. I think we just pick up two KOs for free here. Yeah. The fact they stayed in with the um. The, the what's it called Whimsicott makes me think that they actually are running on court and they're trying to reverse it here. Mm -hmm. uh, why we maxed the Gengar? 
Nope, no encore. All right. The good thing here is that we can say Gengar did something. And Gengar gets a kill. So that's Next cool. turn, Gengar totally gets a kill, too. We have a plus one on it. Yeah. Alright, I was scared it was going to outspeed and moonblast us and then we lose our sash. <laughs> that was a legitimate fear I had. Yeah, I've, se I've seen some, like, bulky ones in God's Spreads before, so it wouldn't surprise me. Alright, this is, like, a bad position for our opponent. I actually don't hate this. Like, yeah, they can go into Amoongus, but they still have to take a plus one hit on something. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Yeah, something's getting plus one. Oh, it's Kyogre. Kyogre. Okay, we win. I'm, I'm pretty sure we just win by targeting Cali Ice here, yeah. Yeah. And we lock Origin Pulse instead of um, Water Spout, because we're going to get Undersped. Uh, Origin Pulse. Actually, wait, Please. it could be bad if they end up targeting the Gengar. But still, Origin Pulse is really good, and we have Evelt on the back, yeah. We should be fine. Uh. Hopefully it's Scarf <laughs> Kyogre. That's like the best outcome. If we actually just trick him and protect, we would have been fine. <laughs> Alright, it is Calyrex. We could just crit them with Max. But that's they're probably true. just gonna. The double up would kill them though, like that's fine. It's mo my concern is the Gengar might not get to attack. Yeah, don't, don't. Like, they shouldn't target Gengar here. Bro. Why are people respecting Gengar? Because they're scared of it. He knows it's at plus one, you know? <laughs> Maybe it's Scarf Kyogre and we just outspeed. That's like what I hope. That's the best case scenario. Nope. It's slow. Curse body. Okay, that's actually huge. Yeah, they have the origin pulse now. And this is still gonna hurt, but what what's kind of annoying is that like they have plus one special defense, so it doesn't matter as much. If we had foul play on the Avel here, it would have been fun. Yeah. And see, the funny thing is I had foul play, but I last minute changed it to heat wave so I could hit the machine. Like, the foul play would have been really nice right there. You just have to origin pulse and. Dark. Because they can't kill both of our moms unless they have thunder. Yeah. Maybe that turn we could have max guarded. Yeah. If we clicked Max Guard and Origin Pulse, that would have Because we would have blocked the special defense boost. Hailstorm, okay. Mm -hmm. And then they're wasting another Max turn to just break our sash. Oh yeah, this is a... Ugh. Winning with Gengar is hard. Yeah, especially in this format. Okay, please let that be the Kyo. Oh, no, we just double miss. They double <laughs> miss, miss too. Okay, wait, hold on. Hold on. We we outspeed their, their Pokemon. We can protect here, and if we get a crit on that last turn with Origin Pulse, we could win, because this is the last turn of Trick Room, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so we always, mm -hmm. we always protect here. Yeah, we just have to play for crits and Thunder Misses. They have overgrowth. Oh. Actually, that's not bad. Oh, yeah, late. no, it's just chaos. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I don't see why they went over. Like, Gastrodon's not existent. Yeah. Perfect. All right, let's try to get one win with Gengar. This, this, this series got significantly harder with series 13. Yeah. Because a, a lot of the, of, like, yeah, a lot of the, the Dynamaxes that are left are not great. Yeah. Alright, continue battling. So, I've noticed a trend in our games. Do you know what that trend is? 
No. We keep trick rooming and the opponent keeps getting like sweeps on us because we trick room for them. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's true. I'm thinking right. for this game, we just play it super straightforward. Yeah, we'll, we'll watch it actually be like a good like game to trick room. <laughs> Oh, that's a ladder for you. Okay. If we get one win with Gengar, that would be fine. That's a, that's that's a success. Yeah, I mean we've had episodes where we had to use like Pikachu or not Pikachu it was uh, Meowth and just getting one win was like all we needed to feel happy <laughs> what is what did you guys do with Meowth like uh, copycat hypnosis <laughs> or copycat max guard hypnosis okay this is the most anti Gengar team we've seen yet wow um I so. wish we had hypnosis <laughs> Let we me have think. To go, I think we go Whimsicott Zacian here. Yeah. We can help in hand Behemoth Blade the Thundy. Need it. Whimsicott uh, Zacian. Um, don't know how I feel about Kyogre. I think he Veltal's not bad. I think we have Shadow Claw in the Groudon, so I think I think Groudon the Veltal is not bad in the back. That's true, but we have to make Gengar do something. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, Gengar Groudon. Gengar Groudon? All right. Gengar in the back might not be that bad, you know? Could be okay. Yeah. Okay, so the plan here is the max Gengar, right? We can try. I'm hoping we max <laughs> Gengar, but it's going to I mean, be rough. I, I mean, see, when you put it like this, all we have to do is remove half their team, and then we can max Gengar. Yeah, that's that's literally it. And to be fair, we do have a, a helping hand mm -hmm. It's pretty easy to remove stuff. As long as they're not war with Kyle but I'm pretty sure like all of them are specs right now. Is all tall one. Okay, we just helping him. Yeah, helping heavy he with blood. Goodbye. I mean, they might have heat wave actually. Um. Yeah, we can tailwinds and. No, actually, uh, we just helping him he with blood. They're not. I think a lot of them aren't running heat wave to be honest. Yeah. Just do it. Just... Yep. Let's just do it. Putting it all. Putting it all on the table. We, it, will, it will work. It worked out for our opponent last game. How could it not work out for us? Exactly. And we have Koba Berry in case they want to like max airstream my limbs. Yeah. All right. Yep. There's a Dynamax. Yeah, but we should be fine here because even if they do like flare. I it's think they ha they have to be like life orb to KO with flare. I think. Yeah, they do. But we're, we're not a bulky team. So we're, we're fairly we're bulky. Good. We have twenty HP, twenty defense, four special defense. Decent bulk. Helping hand, really play. Okay. They tail. Oh no! They just nope. they didn't. Okay. They didn't. They choked. They were doubling the ones I got, which means that's a dead mine. Nice. Okay, Gengar endgame is, is in sight. We got rid of the biggest issue. Let's go. It's okay. possible. It's happening. I'm pretty sure they were doubling the Yeah, time. they were going to airstream. That did a lot. That's got to be like max special attack. Most likely. But Wims is also max special. Could we just ignore the Wimsicott here? Um, I think we have to Tailwind. But for the most part, yes, question mark? Uh, Actually, wait. do we have taunt? Do we have taunt? I think we die to Specs Astral, but we're gonna tailwind, we have to tailwind. 
Yeah, we have to Tailwind here. Um, okay, if it's Specs, we can still win. But we sack the Whimsicott and Protect here and then get in the Gengar and live on Sash and KO Calyrex. I, I think we could Behemoth Blade. Are you sure? Like, what do we have in the back? Actually, yeah. I like your play. Because like, cause, cause if it is Specs, we're like, fine. And then we have Zacian and the and the and the dude. Yeah, they're not getting two KOs if we do this. So yeah, this is fine. But then again, they could also just dazzling gleam Dazz the Gengar. Dazzling gleam, Astral. Yeah. Unless they're a bulky ones, of course. But would be the. We still have the the Grout on the back. I mean, we can Dynamax that thing. We have Shadow Claw. Yeah, that's true. Like, even if we... It, we already Dynamaxed Gengar. You know, it's it's fine. You know, as long as we win. And the Gengar does something. Alright, we don't know the set. I'm kind of hoping it's Life Orb. It actually wouldn't be that bad if it was Life Orb. Yeah, we can just go... Right on. Yes, it's, it's Life Orb. Okay. Nice. Alright, 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 alright. We go Groudon. We go Groudon, unfortunately. As much as I want to go Gengar right now, we go Groudon. Uh, but endgame, endgame Gengar might not be that bad, because the Zacian's probably going to go down here. I think our play is going to be to try to double protect the Zacian to be safe. Because um, yeah. it doesn't take plus one. We Phantasm mm -hmm. here. And then we can... Try to double protect. I think we would have lived the Phantasm. I'm going to calc it. I'm... But I'm like, cause like, I'm 99% sure we're gonna Yeah, let's see. Yeah, we, we tank it. We need that. Yeah, I mean, we're AV. It's only a plus one. Yeah, I was talking about Zacian. We could've been with Blade it last turn because we just need up. Oh, even if it was like Specs? Not if it was Specs, but if it was Life Orb, we just ate it. Nope. Fail to protect. If they were Specs, we lived as well, actually. We yeah, did up they pretty were well. So yeah, that was fun. Okay, I'm trying to think. Right. So next turn, they're gonna send out the Kyogre, and they haven't. They already Dynamaxed, so we're probably fine just to go for like energy ball and like clean up the game we don't have energy ball we have sludge bomb oh yeah crap i don't know why i thought we had energy ball that's still fine it does a lot i kind of want to try to trick room in case we like live the hit i mean I we like should tank one interesting. i think we do trick room I, I think we could i think we could take um a water spout after chip yeah bomb. well no i mean like i think the way that we guarantee the win here. Oh, wait, yeah, the rain's up. Um, yeah, you're right. No, we just attack. Yeah, we have to quake and sludge bomb. And hope this is enough. Hmm. Energy ball probably would have been enough. All right, poison. Crit. Live. Yes! <laughs> we probably lose, though. Oh, we, we disabled that. If it's... It's not Scarf Kyogre, though. Um, it, it literally comes down to if we can one-shot Whimsicott next turn, because this should KO. Oh my god, my dog's being so annoying right now. He's, he's barking outside my door to let him in, because everyone else left while I started recording. He's like, hey, everyone's gone, let me in. All right. Oh, uh, no, we should win. Oh, we have Max. Yeah. I don't uh, wait, the question is, does Rockfall can... plus Chip do it? Because it's probably Sash. Yeah. Because uh, otherwise we lock Phantasm. Rockfall plus Chip isn't going to do it. So we have to... Wait, hold on. No. Um... Is it still... The... I think it's still the best one, though. Let me see. Yeah, it, it does the most damage. Alright. No. Dazzling Gleam will hurt. We can crit. Oh my god. If we crit, though. Like... 
Oh no, that doesn't. We crit. we crit. Let's go. Did we crit? No, yes. I don't. I, I feel like we I didn't. I ran the calc, and the most we did was 84.5. No. They just have a weird nature, then. Yeah, maybe they're like hasty. All right, well, it worked out. We literally just barely won that. Yes. Okay, we got that's a win, fine. And Gengar did something. Gengar did something huge. He made it so Groudon can live. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> uh, I mean, but yeah, it was fine. Uh, it, this was this was like a redo of a better of a better run in Series 12. So I wish I could show you guys the Series 12 run. It was a lot better, but this was still a good one. Uh, anything you want to plug before we say bye? Um. Well, obviously my YouTube channel and. Follow me on Twitter, which is at JSDecent1. All right, sounds good. Well, uh, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a nice one. Bye.